Hey everyone, just want to do an update on the mini greenhouses. The, I've got the one inside I have set up and the one outside. And in a previous video I said I was going to mess around with um, trying to find a cheap, safe way to heat it because it's still too cold to move everything outside. My greenhouse inside is at 74 degrees and things are doing well. In here, I've got a little bit of everything, peppers, tomatoes, cucumbers. I'm trying cabbage this year. I'm really excited about that. I have not done cabbage before. Anyways, I'm running out of room. So it's a cold spring day in Minnesota. So we are at up here, 32 outside. And let's go see. All I did was plug in a uh, seed starting mat, just one, just to see if that would help warm it up out here. It's only 32. And we are at 72. Not bad. So you can see I just plugged in one uh, seed heat mat because obviously I'm done starting seeds and I don't use these otherwise they just sit around for the rest of the year and it is cloudy and overcasted and cold so experimenting with this seed mat 72 that's warm enough to leave these out here and I haven't tried it night yet so I uh I wouldn't recommend trying that with plants at night uh, we wanted to build a greenhouse, but we're not going to have time this year. My husband's been busy building some more raised beds you can see out in our garden. And a really cool A-frame thing. I'll do a video about that. Um, it's a way to save space in the garden if you want to grow melons. They can grow up and over like a ladder. But yeah, the um, mini greenhouse, so that's a cheap way to heat it, is the heat seed mat. Thanks for watching.